Hi everyone! Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to restore your watercolor paint. So I have this Pentel watercolors for a very long time. I'm talking about 15 to 20 years ago. And um, I got this when I was in school. So they have um, all been dried up except a few. The box that I picked is from a $2 shop and what I liked about it is it's got a lot of small compartments which um, each of those um, won't leak to the next box. So this is one of the first things that I checked. Um, secondly, it's deep enough for me to put a, a fair amount of paint into it. And also lastly, when it closes, it doesn't look like it's going to spill to um, the other compartments as well. So what I've done is first lay out how I'm going to put the paint and where it's going to go into. Um, for example, I'm putting the white one on the top left corner and then moving on to the yellow, down to the orange um, and the lighter brown color. In the middle, I'm going to put all my reddish colors like pink, um, orange, red and a dark brown color in the middle. And then lastly, on the right, I'm going to put more of the darker colors like green, blue and purple on the far right hand side. As you can see, I've already put the red one um, on the far right as a demo. And then um, I realized that I should have done the lighter colors first in, in case that the paint will move to another compartment by accident. Um, so the steps that I've done is first use a um, cutter to cut out the paint and then I move the paint that's dried up onto a piece of paper first and then from the paper I will transfer them over to the paint compartment that I want to, to be in. I would recommend working on the lighter color first just in case the dark colors would contaminate with the lighter colors. Another tip is make sure the paint is all dried up before doing this. I've um, opened the blue one accidentally um, and I knew that it was a bit wet but when I opened it I realized I couldn't transfer any of the paint across so that's why I left it there. I'll show you how I fixed that one later but the first thing is make sure all the paint is dried up and then you can cut it up and then transfer them over first. With this blue one, you can see that um, I've already opened it. So I saved it by first trying to squeeze out the blue paint as much as possible. And then using another scrap piece of paint foil that I have when I was pulling that um, another color out, I scraped off the blue color from its own original um, foil and then just scoop it into one of the compartments that I was originally planned it for. So you can see towards the end, I also just squeezed it out and then just scrape it off that box. After that, it's pretty straightforward. All the wet ones, just carefully open the cap and then squeeze all the paint into the compartments. If it doesn't fit, if all of the paint doesn't fit into one, just move on and use the next one. And as you can see here, I've slowly filled out all the other colors. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so you can see this is the semi-finished product. Um, there's a good lead on this coin bank container. And I love how these colors are laid out beautifully. Um, the wet paint looks like it's drying up pretty nicely. What I do want to do next is actually consolidating those dry bits of paint though, because I'm assuming it will be easily fall off its container if it's dropped 
if it's dipped into a bit of water. So um, what I've then done is put some water into the containers and then using um, a spatula I sort of scrape the dry paint so it's more uniform and it will dissolve easily into the water itself. Um, as you can see there's still bits and pieces of the dried paint that's floating in the water but I'm quite happy with that and what I'm going to do is just wait for it to dry and then hopefully it'll stick onto the compartments a bit better. Hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe. Thank you.